right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. I'm your host, Brandon Grimes here, host of the Quarterback Show, owner of Platinum MVP Realty, and a top listing agent in Tampa Bay, featured in Florida Realtor Magazine, Top Agent Magazine, The Business Journal, The Tribune, and others recognized for innovation with marketing, helping our sellers profit more on the sale of their real estate properties. Maximize the exposure, maximize the profits on the sale of your real estate properties. All you have to do is reach out to our hotline, 813-917-1894. Welcome to my house. 813-917-1894, and we're going to help you win in any marketplace. And we're uh, back here in studio, live from iHeartRadio, making the switch next week. We're going to be prime time, drive time, 8 a.m., daily monday through friday so uh we're back here in studio got a couple of hot listings i want to let you know about just got a reduction from our seller on bridgewater lane in tampa uh two hundred fifty nine thousand dollars just reduced it's a waterfront property in country placed west three bedroom two bath property and it's a remodeled property as well and i've got an interesting real estate property here in east county 7814 sims road out in gibsonton now, it's an interesting property. It's four bedrooms, three baths, completely renovated, and it's listed at $449,000. To the left of this property, you also have a commercial income-producing uh, real estate property as well. Commercial property generating $2,000 a month um, with Sims Road here in Gibsonton, a great buying opportunity, and it's over four acres, a four-acre parcel of land in beautiful Tampa Bay. Somewhere, somewhere. This segment is brought to you by Hula Bay, the official restaurant partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show. Had a great Super Bowl party over at Hula Bay. Big shout out to the team over there. And excellent waterfront ambiance, wonderful food, and fresh sushi. And the, the tuna shipped in daily, uh, every two days actually from Hawaii. Fresh tuna coming in from Hawaii. Hula Bay, right on Tyson Avenue in South Tampa. The official restaurant partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show for two or three years now. Really appreciate our partnership with Hula Bay. Now, go say hello to Mike Finnegan, the, the general manager down there. Let him know the real estate quarterback sent you for a free water with lemon. He's going to hook you up every time you go. Just mention it. So we like to have a little fun with you here on the quarterback show. And in studio, we got some expert contributors. We heard from uh, Jarrett Nichols, Tampa Bay Electronic Systems, talking about Wi-Fi as well on how to create a safe environment if you're using those types of cameras and things of that nature. We're also going to bring in Candace Smith here uh, as well. So go ahead, Jarrett. Yeah, so last segment, uh, I was uh, mainly talking about cameras and, uh, you know, other Internet devices that can kind of be a gateway for someone to get uh, into your house on your network. And that's really what you're trying to prevent. Um, those devices, if they aren't set up properly, get somebody on your network. Once they're on your network, there's a number of other devices they could access. Um, and then, you know, the, the, the most important thing that you need to do uh, is really lock down whatever kind of network you have. And nowadays, everything tends to be going Wi-Fi. Um, it's important to know the security standards with Wi-Fi, uh, things you, you want to set up uh, and put in place. Make sure that uh, – here some real key ones is, is when Wi-Fi st started first uh, being something people were putting in their houses, there was a security called WEP, mm -hmm. W-E-P. Um, that's been per, you know uh, replaced by – higher level of security so um definitely if you go and notice that you have web security in place look to change that uh, other real big no-nos are uh, you know when, when you're creating your network um don't call it brandon's home network or right. something using your last name uh i, I think most people uh, that have residential clients that would be possibly be hacked are going to be hacked by somebody that knows them or knows of them or even lives in the neighborhood so by publicizing that name you're basically saying here, come try to get into this network specifically. You know, other things keep your keep your personal information, birth dates, house address, street names, out of password, stuff like that. Right for, for your network. Mother's maiden name. Exactly. <laughs> anything that stuff. anything that makes it easy. You just would want to make it difficult. Try to use uh, uppercase letters, lowercase letters. I mean, I don't need to go through. It's it's same as any password on the right. on, on the internet. You know, make it difficult. Uh, for someone to guess to get in there and change it often that's the key to mm -hmm. changing it often making sure you're uh, you know as your consumer advocate here on the show we want to help you you know win with savings opportunities to save money opportunities to you know protect your assets and so Jared let's talk a little bit also about the wide variety of, of different products and services you guys offer you got of course you know Super Bowl the big game just last week so helping people connect their um, all of their interior fun stuff you know the electronics <laughs> Yeah, I mean that's that's what we do. Uh, we, we we integrate everything inside your house to ideally give you one 
one simple app to control it all. Uh, you know, for for Super Bowl, you know, you walk in your 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 theater and you hit uh, watch TV, and the, the you know the shades might go down, the lights come up, TV turns on, and you have the full surround sound set up um you know really now everything is internet of things so uh sometimes clients call us maybe you're a do-it-yourselfer and you put a lot of that stuff into your house there's a good chance we might be able to take it and kind of put it into one app and have it all you know work on one button press and that's re that's really where home automation and a true smart home kind of come together yeah exactly what's the future of home automation it just seems like you always hear vr virtual reality you know what's the future here what do you what do you predict here well, as far as VR goes, virtual virtual reality, I, I totally can see um, just like we go into people's houses and put in home dedicated home theaters uh, that kind of mimic what you might see in a real real movie theater on a smaller scale. Um, we're going to start putting in. We're not. We haven't done it yet, but that the VR is is pretty pretty real. And there's you know I've been looking into a lot more recently. We're going to probably be putting in full rooms for just VR. I have a feeling in the wow. future. And that might be where a lot of stuff goes, where everybody sits in a room and kind of puts on some goggles and has a completely – I can only imagine from what I've yeah. seen actually <laughs> seeing the Super Bowl, say, in VR where you're sitting there and you have a seat and <laughs> you could almost look over. But I, I bet you we're going to see something like that within the next two or three years. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of experts agree, and they also talk about – with the real estate application, doing those virtual tours, you already have some really good virtual tour opportunities out there, helping uh, folks from the Northeast or Midwest buying real estate in Tampa Bay. It's you know it's such a hot market, so that application is only going to grow. As yeah, well. yep, and for for numerous different reasons, and mark whether it's marketing or just personal entertainment, I think the VR is, is definitely something that a lot of people want to get into and. We're going to see a lot of applications of it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's Jarrett Nichols, Tampa Bay Electronic Systems, our expert contributor for all your home audio security. He can help you with that as well, business as well. So let's go ahead and bring Candace Smith into the conversation. Candace, and uh, you've got her magazine going, Fantabulous Magazine. Yes, I do. Awesome. I actually launched that in 2009. 65% um, of American women are considered plus size. Yep. However, uh, only 17 to 18 percent um, is accounted for apparel sales. I, it's huge. It's a huge market. Yeah. Um, but that's not the reason why I started. I found that out later on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I started Fat Tablets Magazine because I am a plus size woman, mm -hmm. and um, I just saw that we did not have a voice. Yeah. Uh, so I launched that in uh, 2009 as a print publication. And um, in 2012, I relaunched it um, digitally as a blog. Nice. So I've been doing that. That started in um, 2009 in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, moving here to Tampa in 2015, <laughs> yeah. I went around to a few networking events, and that's how we met. Yep. Um, and so it's just opened up some new doors for writing opportunities for myself. Uh, whatever, and um, Openly Broken was birthed out of that, which is a story um, that was a part of a collection of stories in a book for women all across the United States to share how they've gone through a lot of different things but overcome them. Yeah. Um, so that also is a project that I started uh, working with in 2015. So um, from that, and meeting you, um, I recently started ghostwriting <laughs> yeah. for the third book so um, that you're working on. That's awesome. Yeah, real excited about it. There's there's you know a lot of positivity around the show and, and making the move to the 8 a.m. hour and then you know working on the next book. I like to take goals and personal development. I take it almost like a race. You know, yes. I'm looking at it like a race every day. I'm trying to advance as far as I can because I know that competitors are doing the same. Right. And so when you have the discipline and you're able to do that. Um, so, I, so I'm real excited about our book we're, we're putting together. Uh, we got still we still have a couple different working titles out there for it, but basically what we're doing is we're going to be taking the cumulative knowledge that we've gained through. As, as many of the listeners know, our some of our best listeners know that you know I've been to Tony Robbins Business Mastery Course all the way into Mali Fiji. You know I walked on fire with Tony Robbins UPW events, personal development. I love that space and and many other different types as well. We've had Grant Cardone on our show. Uh, who's having a big 10x event in Miami things coming up but you know we want to take all of what we've learned that cumulative knowledge skills and abilities that we've gained up until this point 
and, and help make it a really easy transition for folks out there that maybe are entrepreneurs. Maybe they're home. Uh, they, they have, uh, you know, different strategies they want to do with their home-based business. There's ways that we can help you grow. And ultimately, by, by helping you, uh, you know, that's where we get the most out of things that we do by service to others. And so the other book that we just wrote was Become the MVP in Your Industry by Surfing the Radio Waves. So this is where we're helping business owners, entrepreneurs understand how they can harness the power of the media and, and be a broadcast radio show host or even a podcast, which is, which is also, Candace, it's a – it's an extension of blogging. I think back in, in uh, you know, 02, 01, 03, whenever blogging was just really popular coming out, a lot of people got into that space. Now podcasting is the next space, and uh, we've got uh, we've had Chris Kremitzos on the show, Florida, the uh, Tampa Bay business owners. He's got a big Florida podcasters event. So we want to help you connect out there. We want to be your number one consumer advocate. So more from Candace Smith when we come back, as well as Tampa among the most affordable cities in the country from the Tampa Bay Business Journal. You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. 